Now let me tell you something about data cleaning. Let's talk first about the missing frequency. Let's talk first about the missing frequency. Missing frequency is what if somebody has not replied a question, how to handle that? This will be handled separately for nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio. Are you able to see this uh, SPSS screen also? And missing values. What if there are certain missing values? So, let me delete certain values here. Okay. The few of the values are deleted. It can be any file. The file is not important. So, when we take now, what sort of measurement is it? Country of origin, it is America, Japan, Europe, etc. What sort of measurement is it? Nominal. In the nominal, what sort of tool technique we apply? Only univariate. Which test or technique, what I should do? Can you look at your data and tell me? Univariate, non metric, what should I do? Uh, I think I am too fast, not able to connect. My, my question is if there is any like I can make a new one called a gender, okay. it can be anything this is a non metric data, only one variable is available with me. What sort of count? Where is it available in SPSS? Analyze, descriptive and frequency. So, you may write it there itself where you have written table number 1, I am just telling you where it is available. You know you should able be you should be able to connect 2, 3 things. There is something on the questionnaire, there is something on your notebook objective and there is something in the SPSS. Are you able to correlate all the 3? I got only one variable to start with and that is the country of origin. What I can do with it? Now I entered the data, now when I entered the data, I found that okay, it is a one variable and it is non metric. All I can apply is count and percentage, count and percentage, not more than that. Now, where it is available in SPSS, which menu? So, menu is analyze descriptive statistics frequency. Now, this is a basic format of SPSS, this is a basic format of SPSS. SPSS got you know a portion of screen there is a term for it pane p a n e pane means a portion of screen. So, it works with two panes basically number one this and number two this. This pane is called as the all variables whatever variables are there in your study it is available here and there is a triangle this is the variables under study this is the all variables this is variables under study whatever you wish to study you just send it here. For example, in this case I am interested in country of origin. So, let us send country of origin to other side. Okay. Now, in your case this thing was changed ok paste was made here in new versions and these are available here, but things are nonetheless same. right? Ok means go ahead, paste is used for the higher versions. When you click on the paste it will tell you what actually SPSS understands, what is the syntax it will tell you that it is something like programming. Reset, SPSS remembers the previous commands like if I click ok, when I click uh, when I open frequency again country of origin you will find here. It always remembers if you want to restart it from the start reset. So, all options the default options will be kept rest all what you have used will be over. Cancel means I do not want it, help means what is this? and help is one of the best way to understand SPSS. So, just let me check whether the help will work, yes help is there. In the help this whatever you will find in, in any wonderful book, what is this, what is this, there is an example the statistics involved and then it says show me, 
SPS says finally says show me you say if you are not able to understand then please click on it show me a new page will come it is restricted please allow now it will say ok let me start now this is the one of the best tutorial and what is the one of the best way to learn SPSS it says the data where whatever taken in this form can be summarized this 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 there is a nominal ordinal scale etcetera ok next it says you are a manager you are managing now starting directly with an example you manage a team that sells computer hardware to development etcetera etcetera there are things the file is available in context.sav do you know where this file is available yes. samples so you can open this file then it will say ok now to run a frequency click on the analyze menu then click on the descriptive then click on the descriptive click here so just side by side you just go on clicking the things ok then what it will say just send all these things on the other side select a department click to the charts etc ok what is next click on this click on this the output will come its meaning is this this is the meaning this happens this happens every single thing is there it so shows interpretation. absolutely it shows interpretation also rather if sometimes you forget one of the reason I maintain is right click on this ok this is that one let me click ok right click on this and there is something called result coach result coach result coach will take a similar file not your file and it will tell you what exactly is meant by this how to inter go for interpretation but this is available only in 11 version <laughs> later on they said no, 22 version is available they said uh, ok now it has been a long time sir mentioned tomorrow that it is 15 years SPSS is there in the market so they said well what is uh, to teach you so basics you already know that you know you are working from the 11 version onwards so that was available with 11 version and 11 version is available or works only with window XP not with the with window 7 or 8 or 10 that is why I have that <laughs> version ok. The point here is first look for let us do it again one of the best way you want to study regression you want to study anything click on the help show me it will tell you one by one step by steps all steps and interpretations even they are wonderful they are really one. When I am going for no help is available ok. Uh, show me is not available it is there ok we will check to that just look for uh, are you clear this is a one file and having the two sheets data view and the variable view. So when I click on this frequency I sent country of origin here these are the five things and rest of the things these five are the common menu and rest of the things are related with whatever is here it will be related with that whatever is here is related to that now what is meant by this what I can do with this click on the statistics I can find out the mean median and the mod etc but is there any meaning of finding out mean for the nominal data no it does not make so at the maximum you can find out the mode mode makes sense which particular item was coming most of the times you can find out the dispersion if you look for this was generally chapter number 1 central tendency dispersion skewness kurtosis percentile quartile etcetera. So whatever you can do there you can just click and it will give you answer but you must know which one is to be used where likewise it will make the charts it can make the bar chart it can make the pie chart histogram now histogram you must know what sort of data you should make histogram if you ask for making histogram for gender it will make but will it make any sense that you need to look for so I simply click on ok when I click on ok please see it is a separate file if you can see that can you see this one is this file one is this file so this is the output file and if you save it its extension will be SPV it is a separate one now if your output file is open like 
by default it will give output 1, I cross first one, second is output 2 etcetera. If you keep it open, rest all output will come in this file itself. So, it will make this as called as a table of content. It is like table of content, this is the first, if you do it again downward, 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 it will come in this one. So, you can minimize them like this is minimized or you can open it again. So, now look at the what the output is and let us see how it makes sense. You remember there is a missing frequency, yes. some items were missing. The first thing whether you ask it or not, SPSS always tells you about the missing value. There is a basic assumption data analysis starts only after data cleaning. That is why it always checks that it is saying 403 are the cases present and 3 are the missing. Okay. Then American there was the 251, European 73, Japanese 79, 403 and remaining 3 are missing total 406 percentage. Now, what sort of percentage we should calculate? If taken out of 406, it is a 61 percent, 18 percent because 0 0.7 percent were missing. Is it correct? 0 0.7 percent were missing. So, if you take out of 403, that will be called as valid percentage and in this case, Americans are actually 62. Yeah. If you ignore the missing one, actual number of present out of that, if you take out of 403, so 403 is made 100, 62 percent and this is the cumulative percentage. If there is any missing frequency, percentage and valid percentage will differ. If there is no missing frequency, then both will be same. Does it make sense? So, saying that like if it is a very small number, if it is a large number, then saying 61 percent is misleading this is 61 percent of total out of the people who reported it 62 percent it will give things like that. Now, we know okay, there are the three missing frequency how to handle that that is called as the data cleaning that I will talking about. So, missing frequency will be handled separately for the separate measurements for the nominal and ordinal in fact, there is no method you should be more careful at the time of data collection while taking the data you must have a look at the data and ask the people well see something is missing please fill it again. But there are times you do not go to every person for collecting the data there may be chances you give it to somebody you cannot ask the people because I distributed in the 100 and I collected not possible I will ask please sit I will have a look not possible that. So, a better case is define your respondent define your respondent and make a default value. Now, what is that default value? Default value is when you work on the Google form for making Gmail for the gender it always shows you male. If you are a female you change it otherwise it is a male. I can make a form my respondent like we always define our target market sample population we define that. So, I define my respondent will be from Delhi and uh, of the age group of let us say if nothing like 21 is 21 is the minimum age then must be PG. It means if somebody does not reply I will take these as the default value. Think of the default value I am not saying this is a foolproof method there are some counter arguments also, but try to think of a default value that if person leave anything then you, you say okay, this much or take it from some other perspective like if you have taken a name somebody writes Shabnam and gender she has not replied. So, it is okay Shabnam most probably she is a female like that. If I go to Infosys I ask what is your age, what is your salary everybody mentioned that two people have not mentioned if they are all of the same age group then I will and uh, salary is roughly same for the missing I will say okay let us tape the same. So, there is no foolproof method there are various thoughts about it for the nominal and ordinal there is no foolproof method just go for the default. you have to fill in ourselves. SPSS presupposes there should not be any missing frequency in any of the column. Mm -hmm. Correct, correct, correct. Well, SPSS will do like this, but preferably it should not be there. It should not be there. Like these are small things which people do not know. If I will write x and y and there are the 10 items, 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व वन टू थ्री सेवन नाइन फोर थ्री टू सो थ्री थ्री सिक्स टू एट आई एम रनिंग ऑन रिग्रेशन ऑन एट राइट इफ दिस इज मिसिंग एंड दिस इज मिटिंग मिसिंग वट इज योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू फील इट्स एट समथिंग इज मिसिंग वट एस पी एस एस विल रिमूव कंप्लीट पेयर विदाउट आस्किंग यू एस पी एस एस विल रिमूव द कंप्लीट पेयर इफ एनी ऑफ दम इज मिसिंग ओके सो अल्टीमेटली वट इट हैपन्स यू थॉट ऑफ समथिंग एल्स एंड समथिंग एल्स कम्स आउट and even you don't know yes. 